two of the bullet ends in place on the fretboard, which is not a very easy thing to do, considering that this should have been a flat board with no frets in it. It would have worked out a lot easier. The problem I had was uh, not removing the fret marker, but just opening up the hole and uh, countersinking a little bit so that the bullet end would not be sticking up out of the fretboard. Now, I succeeded, but I have a little bit of a mess to clean up as far as the epoxy resins. As you can see, there's around this one here, has a little bit around it. So is this one. Not that big of a deal, uh, not that big of a deal as far as cleaning that up goes. What I can do is get a rubber block with probably some 800 to 2000 grit sandpaper and just follow the radius of the uh, fingerboard, fretboard, and uh, knock down the little bubble that I've created here. Now I did this on purpose. If you focus this, focus this in a little bit. I did this on purpose. So you can kind of see that there's a bubble on the top of them. Well, that's basically what I'm going to sand off so I can keep the radius of the fretboard. Now, when I go back to do the rest of these, um, I'm going to skip this one here and I'm going to do the 12 fret. Then I'm going to skip the rest of them because these get too close together to be able to put any type of a bullet type whatever this size in there. Now I've already got quite a few cut. I still have to cut out a lot more. These ones say Winchester on them and those I'm going to use at the 12 fret marker. And uh, yeah, so it's starting to work out. But uh, again, this should have been done on a flat piece of wood with no frets on it, no radius in it. It would have been a lot easier to do but it's working out it's coming out and uh yeah so there you have it